Coming up, I will discuss why you must take care of yourself and sharpen your saw every day. Let's get started. If you're new here, my name is Matthew Royce. I am a knowledge enthusiast. Stephen Covey, an American educator, author, businessman, and keynote speaker, says one of his habits of highly effective people is something he calls sharpen the saw. He says that you must persevere and enhance the greatest asset you have, you. Covey tells a story that sums up what sharpen the saw is all about. Suppose you were to come upon someone in the woods working feverishly to saw down a tree. What are you doing, you ask? Can't you see, comes the impatient reply. I'm sawing this tree down. You look exhausted, you exclaim. How long have you been at it? Over five hours, he returns, and I'm beat. This is hard work. Well, why don't you take a break for a few minutes and sharpen that saw, you inquire. I'm sure it will go a lot faster. I don't have time to sharpen the saw, the man says emphatically. I'm too busy sawing. Sharpening the saw means you have a balanced program for taking care of yourself. You must take time to help you stay sharp like a saw. It's all about self-care. To succeed in the long term in your professional and personal life, you must take care of yourself. Here are seven simple yet powerful tips to help you keep your saw sharp. Number one, exercise. Exercise will help you overcome job burnout and depression. You'll also become more productive. Exercise is as much as about the mind as it is about the body. Research has found that regular exercise is vital to good mental health. It is more important than how much money you have. In other words, exercise can boost Boost your happiness more than money can. Regular exercise keeps you healthy and perks you up. Also, if you're torn between sleep and exercise, you should choose exercise. In fact, 30 minutes of exercise is more impactful on your health than 30 minutes of extra sleep. Number two, drinking enough water. Water is essential for life in our bodies. According to the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, or NASA, about 70% of the human body is water. Not drinking enough water can lead to dehydration, leaving you sluggish and tired. You should drink water even if you're not thirsty. Researchers have found that if you want to stay healthy, you should drink four to six glasses every day or 32 to 48 ounces of water every day. Drinking water will help you reduce hunger cravings and help you sleep better at night. Number three, getting enough sleep. To stay fresh and productive is to get enough sleep. Our bodies need high quality sleep to function optimally. Getting enough sleep is underappreciated. It shouldn't be because sleep helps our bodies re repair itself. Some of us just don't know how to shut off our brains before bed and we take pride in not getting enough sleep. Sleep helps us feel energized and alert during the next day. Sleep also helps us reduce stress. According to the National Sleep Foundation, most adults need about eight hours of sleep per night. Sleep enables your body to recharge its batteries. If you're wondering if you're getting enough high quality sleep, your body will give you warning signs beyond young. Number four, strive for excellence, not perfection. I am careful not to confuse excellence with perfection. Excellence I can reach for. Perfection is God's business, said Michael J. Fox, a Canadian actor. Don't pursue perfection, seek excellence. We often get caught up in making sure everything is perfect. When we strive for perfection, it's tough to say things are good enough. Good enough is okay. You should chase growth, not perfection. When you focus on excellence, not perfection, you become more efficient and productive. Perfectionists seek the approval of others while those who strive for excellence seek approval from themselves. When you desire to be perfect at everything, you slow yourself down and decrease your output. Number five, balancing your energy, not your time. Where our focus goes, our energy flows, said Tony Robbins, an American author, coach, motivational speaker, and philanthropist. Your day is not about how much you have to do, but it's about how much mental energy you have to get things done. When your mental energy is drained, you won't be productive. The key is to balance your energy, not your time. There are only so many hours in the day we have a long to-do list, so it's essential to find out what drains your brain and fix those energy drainers. Time management is about allocating energy to what needs to get done. Focus on how much energy you can spend on different parts of your life. 
Minimize areas that are draining your energy too much. You must still have energy at the end of the day. Number six, adopting a more is less mindset. We all fall into the trap of adding more things to our plate than we should. There is a time and place when you add something. However, adding more items to your to-do list as a default won't help you. There's a lot of value with less is more concept. Remove the mental barriers that are holding you back from subtracting things from your life. Set expectations for yourself and others. Write down that less is more or eliminate the unnecessary and make sure it's visible daily. Number seven, embrace meditation. Meditation can help you relax and declutter your thoughts. To stay fresh, take time to go deeper with yourself with meditation. Meditation can help you with decision making, emotional intelligence, and memory. Meditation can help you stay on task longer, especially boring ones. It enables you to deepen your concentration while lessening the effort needed to stay focused. It can help you train your mind to redirect your thoughts to positive things and teaches you how to respond, not react. Meditation takes time and discipline. It's about blocking out the noise of the world and quieting your thoughts. It can help you become happier with different parts of your life. Since meditation helps you clear your head, it can help you increase your concentration, improve your memory, and enable you to become more creative. Okay, let's bring it all together. First, if you like what you saw here, please hit the subscribe button below. It would help if you focused on taking care of yourself so you can stay sharp in your professional and personal life. Thank you for watching. Until next time. Bye.